Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go through what's changed in the newest update to Rococo Studio Beta with a particular focus on how to get your glove ready SmartSuit Pro 2 up and running with just a single battery. You can find the latest version notes for Rococo Studio Beta in the description below, but some of the highlights are that Rococo Studio Beta now supports Mac OS, your boost mode settings are saved directly to your smart suit, new suit and glove firmware has been released, as well as an option to add a T-pose on frame zero to your exports. Besides Mac OS support, the biggest new change is that we now support the Glove Ready SmartSuit Pro 2 with just a single battery. However, while in the past it hasn't really mattered what type of battery you use to power your suit or your gloves, because of the new EMF capabilities in the smart gloves, the new power drop requires that you use a specific type of battery. You have to use a battery that will provide at least three uh, a or 3 amps and exactly 5 volts from the USB port that you're using to power your suit and gloves. Now it's fine if the battery supplies more than 3 amps to the uh, port that you're using, but it has to supply exactly 5 volts. And this can be confusing because a lot of batteries, for example, will say that they supply 3 amps to their USB ports, but what they mean is that they're supplying power that equals 3 amps across all their USB ports if you're using them together. So we have some very specific battery recommendations that are in the description below. In this video, I'm going to be using the Anchor PowerCore 13000, which is a very impressive name. Uh, but you can also use other batteries as long, again, as they're supplying at least 3 amps to that, that port that you're using, but exactly 5 volts. So before we jump into a practical demo, let's just go over what exactly EMF support for your smart gloves means, right? It's kind of a mouthful. Well, EMF stands for electromagnetic field, and that is what the smart gloves are now generating. You can imagine the field as a bubble that forms around the base unit of your smart gloves. And within that bubble, the smart gloves are able to track the absolute position of each finger sensor. And that's different from the inertial tracking that the suit does. This is tracking the exact position in space of each finger sensor relative to that base unit. And that allows for some incredibly accurate tracking of your fingers. Now that doesn't mean that the smart gloves can track where the other smart glove is, right? If you clap, your hands might still intersect, which is a typical feature of inertial motion capture. But for each glove specifically, your hand and finger movements will be far more accurate than they used to be, which is really awesome. So now let's open up Rococo Studio Beta and go through a practical demonstration. I'll create a new project, and then I'll create a new scene. So one very important thing that you're going to need to do is make sure that your glove and suit firmware is up to date to take advantage of some of these new features. So first I'll plug in my suit into my computer using the USB-C port that's on the back of my suit. I usually do this with my suit off, it makes it a little bit easier. I've already updated my firmware of the suit, but you can see if I go in, here's the area where I would update my firmware. And I can also set up my Wi-Fi settings, which I've already done for this suit. So it's already showing up. Next, I'm going to go and plug in each smart glove into the computer and do the same process. Make sure that my firmware is up to date and optionally set up the Wi-Fi settings for each glove. Now the gloves have actually been optimized to where they will turn off their Wi-Fi unit when you use them with a glove ready suit which means that the gloves are now using the suit's Wi-Fi connection instead of their own Wi-Fi connection. And that helps with power draw and just kind of optimizes the whole setup. Okay, firmware is all up to date. My Wi-Fi has been set up in my suit. So I'm now I'm ready to plug everything in and get recording. So I've got my smart gloves on, but the order in which we plug in our battery and our gloves matters now if we want this suit to be recognized as a glove ready uh, smart suit pro too. So what I'm going to do is before plugging in the battery into my suit, which I have right here in my little pocket, it's not plugged in, but it fits in my little pocket, nice and snugly. I'm going to plug in my gloves. And as you can see, I've just rolled up the sleeve. Um, on my suit and so there's enough space for my glove to sit comfortably and I've got the wire that is coming from my suit uh, that goes directly into my glove 
that will be powered via the same uh, you know, battery, only a single battery. So I plug in both of my gloves first, and then I'm going to power on the suit. Now, if you happen to um, power on your suit before you plug in your gloves, that's fine. It's not going to break anything, but uh, it won't work correctly with the EMF processes and, um, and it might not even be recognized. So what you need to do is just repower your suit after you've plugged in uh, your gloves. Uh, so that order does matter. So now I've got everything connected. As you can see, we're getting incredibly accurate uh, finger position now compared to uh, what the the old uh, setup for the gloves used to be, which is really awesome. So how do we get everything working? Let's record some mocap, right? So you can see right here that uh, even though my, my gloves are plugged in directly to my suit, I'm still seeing three inputs, but I'm going to create an actor profile. Let's call it Sam. You know the game, this is pretty typical. I'm gonna make him green. Enter my height, hit save, and then I will select my actor profile. And I can either go up here to pair or unpair, or I can right click on the actor profile and I'm going to pair my suit and each glove. And there we go, now everything is paired up. Now obviously we still need to do a calibration, which is why this looks so funky. So let's do a calibration now. Right here, calibrate, we do a straight pose, which is with my arms resting at my sides and my feet uh, directly under my hips. So let's calibrate. Calibration completed. And there we go, everything is up and running. We're getting accurate finger tracking and now we can record something. So let's record a little scene here. We'll just click the big red button in the bottom left. Thumbs up. Everything looking good. Choo. We can show off our little gloves here. And there we go. Stop recording. We'll process the recording. And here we have it. Let's play this guy back. Looking good. So that's how you go through, you know, nothing has changed about the recording process. You know, normally you'd go through and make sure you'd clean up your mocap. This actually looks quite good. I can always enable this gizmo right here, which my screen is covering up. Let me move that. So this gizmo right here which will add the visualization for my foot movement into the scene. As you can see, tracking everything great. And if I wanna export this with the new T-pose uh, that we were talking about at the beginning of the video, we would just right click on our actor clip, add it to our export list, which will then add it in over here. Include reference pose is already checked by default. So now we just hit export and there we go. We've recorded a clip with the new glove ready version of the SmartSuit Pro 2 powered by only a single battery and using the new EMF upgrades of the smart gloves. So we hope this was helpful. A couple things to remember uh, just from this video, you need to update your firmware of your smart gloves and your smart suit to take advantage of the new ability to power your suit via a single battery, right? And you need to plug in each glove individually to the computer to do that. You can't plug in the gloves to your suit and just plug in your suit and update all the firmware. You need to go through the typical process of plugging in each glove, updating the firmware, and then you're ready to go. The other thing to note, of course, is that you wanna make sure that, that your battery that you're using is supplying at least three amps but exactly five volts to the USB port that you're using. And check out that recommended list of batteries that we have in the description below if you're unsure if your battery is going to cut it. And that's pretty much it. You can leave your questions in the comments below and also just stay tuned for lots more major updates to Rococo Studio Beta. We're going to be rolling out elevation tracking and a couple other fun features in the near future. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks everyone, bye bye.